What's up, AV Tweeps? This is Rich and George, and welcome to our home in New York City. Usually you know us from Pace University. Today, we went a hop, skip, and jump down to NYU to the Tandon School of Engineering. NYU has some amazing AV technology, and they're gonna give us a tour of their space. So let's take a field trip. Tandon is an amazing school, it's an engineering school, but it represents a really diverse approach to engineering in the 21st century. So we have artists, designers, creative technologists, and engineers all working together to work on innovative solutions for technology and innovation with an ethical approach. Tandon's providing an emerging media center to help students R&D with cutting edge tech. So we rely on industry partners who are also interested in the talent coming from the school. And those industry partners often can provide us with high production value equipment. And then the kids get their hands on it and uh, that makes them uh, better applicants for the, the job pool. So it really is just about getting jobs in a very fast and quickly moving field of emerging media. I had some experience developing for AR. And so I was looking at different schools and I want you to call my eyes because um, this IDM program, they have an XR lab and they have all the headsets. And I thought, this is the resources I need. And then that's why I applied and I, I got in. I come from a very small space, a small uh, town and back in India. This is like a huge change for me. It's, it's like, it, it's a world of possibilities that I, I was not aware of. The first space we had to check out was the volumetric capture studio. Hey, look, that's us, Todd. Tell us what's going on in here. The easiest way to describe it is we're making holograms. We're making three-dimensional movies of people. Uh, this is a 29 camera array shooting at 30 frames per second, both depth and color. So it's pretty impressive to think at 30 frames per second, depth, color at 1024 by 1024, all going to a single computer, uh, generating a, um, a, a hologram essentially in real time. And what could someone do with a 3D hologram of two really good looking bald guys? I've taken the um, 3D object, animated 3D people um, from captured by this uh, volumetric studio and I put it in the eighth wall app so that, and I put a little palm tree there and you know, the people is waving and dancing and you see the palm tree and next to them. So it's like a mini set here that you can put it on the ground or coffee table. Our next stop, the Motion Capture and Virtual Production Studio. I have to say, you look really good in a mocap suit, George. Oh, thanks, Rich. Besides the fact that the suit was a little tight, made us sweat a lot, the demo of the 3D renderings were pretty darn cool. We have a 34 camera, um, a passive optical system uh, that you wear the suits with the reflective markers and you get to be any kind of fantastical creature you want to be. Uh, or a scan of yourself if you want to just be yourself. And then um, uh, behind me, if you can see, we have uh, an LED wall for in-camera VFX, and our partners here are W Lab. I should be back George, here. George is going to be Rose. Yeah, there you I'm go. I'm Rose. Yep. yep. No, so you're up front. You're up front. I'm up front. Yep. 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 <laughs> This is what this is what you went to the city for? Students from Tandon find work in many different industries, but one of the most popular ones might just surprise you. Theme parks. Learning how to use experiential technology is highly valuable to the amusement park industry. In the first class we taught, 10 of the 20 people said, I secretly came to an engineering school to learn how to work at amusement park, but I was afraid to tell anyone that that's what I really wanted to dream to be. And so uh, this is a way for people's kind of interest to, to bloom and get married with the tech. The students at Tandon have developed their own amusement park ride using Unreal Engine. They've hooked up a gaming chair to a haptic system to get a preview of what the ride really feels like. George, you want to take a turn? Yeah, no way I'm getting on that thing. So not only do we have the motion base, which is helping them ride their homework assignment, um, but we've also added uh, a 7.2.4 um, Dolby Atmos system here. So they can also work with spatialized audio. We watch a lot of rides on YouTube, POV, ride-throughs. The rides are three minutes long. 
So how do you tell a story in that much time? There's so many things I enjoy about working here. I guess it starts with the students though, because even though I call myself a teacher, I am also always learning and definitely learning from my students. The thing that's the most exciting is making something complex simple. Seeing them come to me thinking they're gonna do something that's quite nice and then realizing that they're incredibly more capable than that and doing something that makes them a complete rock star is, uh, you know, all the, you know, very gratifying. Folks, that's it for this episode of Field Trip. A special thank you to the folks at NYU. And be sure to check out more episodes of Field Trip on Evicta TV or YouTube. And while you're there, check out new episodes of our podcast, Cables, Coffee, and Curveballs. Take care. One foot, two foot. No, oh. like this. <laughs> I don't think this. <laughs> it's our own dance. <laughs>